Hi, I'm Simon and welcome to another Open Tag video. Now for this one, this is a question I've been meaning to ask you and anyone on YouTube who can respond to this, because this is not just something that I'd like to be answered by gaming community people, but any, anyone else out there who's, I don't know how you would find this if you're not in the gaming community, um, but I would like to know what is the perfect size for a YouTube channel? Now this is obviously something that can be answered by people who put content on YouTube. I've got subscribers who have got fairly large channels, I think um, 40 or 50,000. There's a couple of people subscribed to me all the way down to people who have probably got one or two subscribers. So I'd like to know from you guys who have got channels, what's the, what did you feel was the perfect size? Do you feel you haven't reached it yet or have you gone past it? Was there a time looking back when you think, well, my channel was much better back then because I could keep in contact with all of the subscribers or you're now getting inundated with far too many messages that you can't keep control of it all? Or maybe, you know, your channel's not big enough yet. Maybe for you, having a million subscribers would be uh, a decent number and that's what you really want. But not just from those guys who produce content, but also from those of you out there, which I imagine would be the majority of my subscribers, people who don't upload content onto YouTube. From your perspective, what is the type of channel or the size of the channel that you like most? You know, from your perspective of being able to interact with the people, because obviously if you like, I mean, on one of the channels I'm subscribed to, I think he's got two million subscribers. Um, God, what's his name? <laughs> I can't remember. English guy, uh, young guy. Oh crap. Charlie McDonnell. Subscribe to his channel. Charlie is so cool like. Um, and of course, he's got two million subscribers. There's no, practically no way that if you'd sent him a comment that he would respond to you. So, do you like channels like that or do you like much smaller channels where, you know, maybe there's only 200 subscribers and you're pretty much guaranteed that the person making the videos is going to respond to you? So, what do you think? Because I'm, the reason for me asking this question is I've been kind of stumped at what would be the perfect size for a YouTube channel? Because I really like how big my channel is at the moment. I've got about 270 subscribers. It's really nice. A lot of regular people keep coming back, leaving comments. There's a lot of good interaction. I've made a lot of fantastic friends. There's, I mean, those of you that I uh, watch your videos and make comments on your videos and you know, there's all that interaction back and forth. I love that. So I think this is a good size, but to be the perfect size, I don't know because I know there are channels out there that I really enjoy watching. People like uh, Steve Benway, he's got nearly 7,000 subscribers and he nearly always responds to comments that are left on his channel. So there's always good interaction with him. So that channel, as far as I'm concerned, isn't too big. And then obviously there's other ones like uh, EdT1138, SnezTastic, BlueTonic78, Interghost. I'm probably forgetting a lot of people, Lawn Boys Post 1975, people who, who I watch regularly and leave comments on their, their videos, nearly always they'll get back in contact with me and you know, they've got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 subscribers. So I think a channel of that size is fine, but I mean, I don't know because I don't have that many subscribers. Is it a chore? Is it laborious to handle that much interaction because I think about it if I had hundreds of comments to read through it would be difficult and I, I I would probably feel sad if I couldn't respond to everybody so so I don't know I want to know what your experiences are um, as I'm going forward and obviously thinking about you know should I make an effort to grow the channel is it worth it because I'm very happy the way things are I've got and you know, I've got enough interaction to keep me interested in making the videos, but does it get a lot better as you get more subscribers and your channel gets larger? So it's a seemingly simple question, but I think it's probably a very difficult one to answer, but I'd love to know what you guys have to say. So of course, comments are welcome. Put as many comments as you can down below, but obviously, video responses are really what I'm looking for. So if you've got a bit of time, you can spare two or three or four or five minutes, however long, 
to tell me what you think on camera. I would love to hear it. So, thank you very much for watching the video. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. So, from my spare room to wherever you are, this is Simon signing off. Bye-bye.